When it comes to the lithium batteries, China stands as a powerhouse of the innovation, leading the charge in the manufacturing and the exports. And today I'm going to China as one of the lead lithium battery research and develop firms and manufacturers. So here I am in the Lishan's factories in Northern China's Tianjin municipality. Established in 1997, the Lishan, a state-owned factory, has become a trailblazer in the lithium battery. So let's go and find it out. At the core of its success lies the research and the development. So now join me to delve into the latest breakthroughs from its R&D department. Now I'm so glad to invite the director of the department who will unveil us the company's newest technologies. Hey Dr. Ma, what kind of the battery product, products are you working on recently? Oh, our company has been developing semi-solid state batteries and all solid state batteries for the past decade dedicating to the elimination of the bottle net necks in high energy density higher power and higher safety a series of products with specific energy ranging from 300 watt hour per kilogram to 450 watt hour per kilogram debuted in the field of electric aircraft and have achieved industrial applications. Electric aircrafts equipped with these products have set a new global record for the flight range of two-ton class U world aircraft, indicating that our products are of internationally leading technologies. Mm. And you have just mentioned the, the semi-solid uh, state batteries and the all-solid state batteries. Um, can you tell me the differences between these kind of, two kinds of batteries? Okay. Mm. In terms of composition, semi-solid state batteries use a gel-like or semi-solid electrolyte that combines liquid and solid components. All solid state batteries utilize a completely solid electrolyte, which can be solid sulfide electrolyte or a solid polymer and so on. The electrodes of semi-solid state batteries are similar to those in commercial lithium iron batteries, with some modifications to accommodate the semi-solid electrolyte. While the manufacturing process of all solid state batteries are quite different from the traditional lithium iron batteries. As for the advantages of these two kinds of batteries, semi solid state batteries have improved safety and enhanced energy density because of a reduced risk of leakage and thermal running, and less liquid electrolyte, respectively. All solid state batteries have maximum safety reliability because of the elimination of the risk of leakage and vastly reduced the likelihood of thermal runaway. The energy density of all solid state batteries is even higher due to the use of lithium metal anode material. Also, all solid state batteries can provide better mechanical stability and longevity. For all solid state batteries, manufacturing is highly complicated, which can be more costly and difficult to steal. Furthermore, achieving high series performance for solid state interface remains a significant technical hurdle for all solid state batteries. Okay, I see. So, how advanced are lithium semi solid state batteries? So, how advanced are lithium semi solid state batteries? Mm, okay, uh, our semi solid state batteries with even higher energy densities and power densities have been finished uh, the design and uh, uh, being dispatched to our customers uh, to as the research uh, samples. 
Okay. And uh, the first generation of our products with the energy density of 360 watt hour per kilogram, mm -hmm. a cell capacity is about 88 amp hour, and can pulse 160 degrees C hot box test mm -hmm. and uh, 145 percent SOC overcharge test. The density of the second generation product reaches 372 watt hour per kilogram. The battery capacity is 90 amp hour and can pass the 150 degree C hot box test and 140 percent SOC overcharge in safety test, which is much higher than the national standard requirements. At present, the semi-solid state battery with an energy density of 405 watt hour per kilogram has finished the design and development in our lab. Semi-solid state batteries with high, higher energy density and reliable safety performance are technologically advanced and innovative and will be applied to ultra-long road passenger cars or e-motors. Uh, so, hey, Doctor Ma, I'm really curious that uh, it is said that the sodium ion batteries, uh, which swap sodium for lithium, could be cheaper and more energy dense and more environment friendly for EVs. Uh, what research has Li Shen conducted to advance the sodium ion batteries? Okay, as we know, sodium ion batteries technology with advantages of abundant resources, low cost, wide temperature range, and environmental friendliness is crucial for achieving the goal of global clean energy and constructing green planets. As a leading new energy technology company, Li Shen Company is committed to contributing to global technological innovation and environmental protection. Our company has successfully developed sodium iron battery products with an energy density of up to 160 watt hour per kilogram. With 5C fast charging performance and maintaining a discharge capacity retention rate of over 80% at temperature lower than minus 40 degrees C. This maintaining a discharge capacity breakthrough will provide a more environmentally friendly efficient and reliable solution for the development of energy storage systems. In particular, the excellent low temperature performance of sodium iron batteries can address range anxiety in low latitude regions. The achievements of lithium battery not only signify a solid step forward for China in the field of new energy, but also contribute to the global development of clean energy. We firmly believe that China's scientific and innovative technologies will bring more benefits to people around the world and help build a cleaner, more efficient and sustainable planet. Okay, so thank you about all of this instruction. I'm looking forward to that the future electric vehicles can use the sodium mine batteries one day. Okay, thank yes. you for your introduction. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you. With the global demand rising, the China's lithium mine batteries, the electric vehicles and the solar batteries has become the new tech-intensive green trial underpinning China's exports. So next I will meet another director of the lithium's overseas market. Let's meet her. Hello. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Uh, could you introduce you first? Yeah, nice to meet you. So uh, I'm Chris Ling. I'm in charge of the power battery overseas sales market. So uh, let me introduce a Lishen company and our product to you. How many fields have been our products been applied to? Uh, mm. So actually for the uh, batteries that uh, mm. uh, we uh, already shipped to some high-end uh, uh, passenger vehicles and mm -hmm. also some uh, uh, commercial vehicles and also we have some uh, 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 stationary uh, ESS and uh, the energy storage for the large scale uh, using. So you have mentioned the localization. So uh, how can you can customers benefit from the localization? Mm -hmm. So I think we will set up or uh, 
localization step by step. Uh, maybe the first uh, we will set up the uh, warehouse in the overseas, uh, such like the international hub to the uh, customers. And uh, it will be shortage the period for the shipment and also will uh, have a very improvement control to the temperature and humidity. And also, uh, uh, maybe uh, we will uh, set up the uh, construction and the production facilities to assemble the package, uh, such like uh, this very huge mm. product, uh, because uh, it will take very higher cost. That means the price will be a little bit expensive mm -hmm. uh, uh, for the shipment. And, uh, uh, the next one, maybe we will uh, set up the uh, manufacturing capabilities of the uh, cell assembly. Uh, so that means uh, the cathode, anode, and some major materials will also produce in uh, domestic of China, but uh, it will be assembly uh, in the overseas. And I think the final uh, stage uh, will be have uh, uh, 100% of the product manufactured in, in the overseas, mm -hmm. but uh, it also depends on the uh, resource that uh, we can get from the region and also uh, depends on the uh, uh, sales uh, qualities. Thank you for your introduction. Okay, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Mm. Uh, thank you for joining us to have a discovery in Lishan factory. Well, wrapping up today's Xinhua Live, thank you for watching and see you next time.